and everybody who's watching this is going to wish that they could smell it. Smell a vision, smell a tube. <laughs> this is like Bailey's 10 o'clock cheesecake. I think that's what we would call this. <laughs> Good morning from the garage. So we tried to get our old deep freeze working and it's not. And I have like huge bags of veggies that are completely thawed out. We brought some meat out here in hopes that it would cool down the deep freeze faster and now it didn't. So welcome to the Real McNeils. This is real. This is the mess today. And this is what we're dealing with. Yesterday I cooked up a huge box of chicken breast that had completely thawed out. So we have pulled chicken for days. We had kebabs last night. <laughs> we're doing all the chicken things, which is kind of ironic because we just got this beef and we barely had a chance to taste it. The boys came along, Kate and Kieran helped me carry all of that stuff down to the basement and Clancy managed to get it to all fit in back into the small deep freeze even after the Costco haul, so that's great. I will be going to my parents with all of the kids this week, so a bunch of that stuff will be pulled out and taken with us so that we can take some groceries there and, uh, and that will also help the level to go down a little bit. <laughs> we have motivation to eat here, guys. <laughs> Try and empty this deep freeze and create a little bit more space. But now even my freezer in my fridge here is is pretty stashed, and I don't usually keep it like quite this full. But that's okay. Everything fit in. It's all frozen. But we had to refreeze pineapple, blueberries, and a huge bag of stir fry mix. It's amazing how much less is in there once it all thaws out and is just like compacted down. It feels like you really didn't get anything at all. The other thing that I just figured out this morning is, I don't know if you can see the little critters flying around right there. I thought it was hornets and there was just one or two the other day just buzzing around, buzzing around. But this morning I took a closer look. We've got honeybees building in this birdhouse here in the backyard. Now if it was hornets, that was a pretty simple fix. Just throw a black plastic bag over it after dark. But with it being honeybees, I don't want to hurt any honeybees. And so I've thrown up a post on our local mom's group just hoping that somebody might want them. So I've got to keep checking my Facebook frequently to see if there's anybody posting any type of comment about what we can do with them, if somebody will come along and take them for us. But Coco is very, very, very allergic to dog, uh, bee stings. She goes into anaphylactic shock and it's actually really not super fun for her to get stung because one of these times it could just be the end of her. And it's right beside the trampoline where the kids play. So it would be really nice to get rid of them and it would be fantastic if somebody who actually keeps bees or wants the honey or things like that could take them from us so that they would actually be useful to someone. Somebody got their glasses in the mail. Take it to daddy. It's daddy's, yeah. Make him guess what it is. Daddy, this goes to my house. What do you have? <coughs> yes. Um, you have a surprise. Guess what this is daddy? Um, <laughs> you drew something for me. I have no idea. No, you can show him. Chocolates. Show him. Oh, you found a package. What is it? No, it's glasses. Ooh, handsome. What do you think, Caddy? Yeah, I'm another daddy. <laughs> You're another daddy. Look at me. What? Everything's so good. <laughs> it looks different, but exactly the same as my sunglasses. Yeah, okay. We think she likes her new doggy bed. Don't put your dishes in She's the like, <laughs> Aw, look at you. You're snuggling with your beaver? Bite its head off. Nice beaver. <laughs> She's really worried. We are officially getting ready to head to Grandma and Grandpa's house. It's only four sleeps until we head out, so it's time to start packing some things up. It's always kind of an adventure to get all those things together. I am a list writer. I've written lists for what we're taking for food. The girls have already packed up their dolls, but I will be writing like a clothes list. And today... I made it into capris, so I'm realizing that there's going to be some late night laundry the night before. 
so that I will actually be able to take whatever I'm wearing with me because it looks like summer has finally arrived, you guys. The other thing I'm sporting is my new armband to try and help with uh, my tennis elbow. I did go to the chiropractor. I have a huge knot up in my shoulder that's definitely causing it and the nerves were pinched off so I was losing feeling in my ring finger. So I've been working on trying to loosen that knot off. Now I've got the band on. Not sure if I'm wearing it right or not. Might have to watch a couple YouTube videos and try to figure that out. I think it's helping. I don't know. I've only had it on for a couple of hours and I took it off to shower and all of that. So we're going to give it a little bit of time, see how it goes. But hopefully this helps and the exercises I'm doing will help to strengthen it back up so that this isn't something that's like constant. It might flare here and there, but hopefully we can get on top of it. I've just been sitting here editing a vlog and wondering if my glasses are going to make it in before we head off to my parents and my phone rang and they are calling me to come in and get them. I get to go and pick them up tomorrow morning so I'm really stoked. I'm also a little bit nervous because of moving into like a progressive style lens. We're going to have to see how that works out. I don't know about going to my parents' house with these new glasses, but if I need to, I can revert back to these guys. Also, having bought a frame that I've never seen before, that will also be kind of crazy. So Bumblebee guy, just I just gave him a call. Somebody had given me a phone number because they knew of somebody who would relocate Bumblebees. It's $150. So usually the case is that they have to come out and build a box in order to get the bees to build in, and then they'll take the box and relocate it somewhere else, um, way out north of here. But in our case, they're already in something, so they're only going to charge us $100. They do die in September, I just have to decide whether or not they're bothersome enough that we need to worry about it or if we can just leave them there until they're gone in September and then just get rid of the uh, the birdhouse completely. So Clancy and I are going to have to talk about that and decide what to do. Kind of crazy. I didn't think that there would be a fee associated with it, but there is. So we'll just have to decide whether or not that's the way that we want to go or not. We're heading con to Canadian Tire, are but we? first of all... I don't think we are. We need to comment on these colors. <laughs> They're adorable. You're adorable. You're adorable. Gorgeous. Uh, what colors are you too. wearing? <laughs> Help. First stop didn't have what they wanted, so now we're at Home Depot. Bailey still looking for wood filler. The lights that she wanted from Canadian Tire were gone. So Bailey and Kieran are now in Home Depot looking for her wood filler so that she can complete the project that she's working on. I'll have to show you the project. I made buns for supper because it was just a leftovers night and I thought we might have to use some of the pulled chicken but we didn't have to so win. Now we have them for tomorrow night so that's one less thing I have to do tomorrow. She forced us not to eat them. <laughs> right? Don't tell them I had one just to see if they tasted good. He just fell off the ball when I said that. I'm not getting nearly as many things done as I had hoped today. I'd hoped to start packing and things like that, but I've got these huge knots that are causing my arm and my elbow to hurt, and it is just not working well for me today. We're gonna go for a bike ride, get outside, do something fun with the family. I think we've got everybody out there, so we're gonna go have some fun before it's time to start tucking girls into bed. There you go. started making cheesecake. It smells like fried chicken in here. <laughs> it's it's not that hopefully. You're gonna have fried chicken cheesecake. Well Bailey's working on her New York cheesecake adventure downstairs. I decided it's probably time to start throwing some stuff together for going to my parents' house. The kids don't know it, but we will be gone for probably 10 days. It looks like we're gonna stay through the long weekend. So I've got my list. I've started, I have a bazillion things that need to be packed, but right now I need to grab the kids swim stuff 
Um, we bought them all SPF shirts for when we were in Panama because it's just so much easier than slathering up in sunblock every time and you burn really, really fast there. So these guys all got used to just wearing a swim shirt when we go out into the water and it actually, it helps. I'd rather not have to slather their whole body in sunblock. What I did find were two summer sun hats. I don't even know if these will fit the girls at this point, but I'm just realizing we do need hats. So here is Addie's swim shirt and I've got Kato's, uh, actually... That might be Kieran's and then Tig's and I don't even know if they still fit but let me tell you they're so much cheaper in Panama than they are here. We're also hitting the season of birthdays. You can see those two blue packages over there. So Clancy has ordered a couple of things from Amazon because Cadence will be not even two weeks after we get home. So I have to start pulling things together for him and making sure that I've got things organized so that it's not a mad rush when we get back so that he can have a well thought out birthday and not something that's thrown together at the last minute. Good night. How goes the cheesecake making? I've got the whole setup. Oh. I'm gonna have to like not eat at all and just have cheesecake tomorrow. You know how to ruin my intermittent fasting diet. Thank you, <laughs> Bailey. You remind me of me when I was younger. That's a good thing. I love to bake. So that's not parsley in there. <laughs> that's lime zest to cut the sweetness. Hot water bath. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be very full. It's made for a group supposed to be able to fit in that. And Nine everybody inch, so. who's watching this is going to wish that they could smell it. Smell a vision. Smell a tube. <laughs> oh, wow. That's a lot of cheesecake, my friend. We don't even have any cherries. We actually do. It's time for the cheesecake to have a little hot water bath. Don't drop that, my dear. You will be so sad. It doesn't matter. They'll dry. I don't care. Just don't get it stuck you, like you just did. Wet is better than stuck. They wash. <laughs> I'm just gonna stand here and laugh at you. All oh, my hot air. Look at you. Bye bye, cheesecake. <laughs> this thing is not going to be ready until tomorrow. This is like Bailey's 10 o'clock cheesecake. I think that's what we would call this <laughs> because it is literally just before 10 o'clock and it has to bake for an hour and a half. So I'm not gonna see it tonight. She will, but she's not going to eat it, which it's going to be really hard to not eat that. Although I've never tasted warm cheesecake. If you've tasted warm cheesecake because you couldn't wait long enough to try it when it was cold, comment down below because I want to know what warm cheesecake tastes like. So we were just realizing that I bought cherry pie filling the last time I was at the regular grocery store when we had gone to Bailey's appointment. So now we're super stoked because not only do we have cheesecake, but we have Bailey and mine absolutely favorite topping for it, canned cherry pie filling. It doesn't get much better than that. I'm going to end this vlog here. Come back tomorrow so you can see the cheesecake because I'm sure it's going to be wicked awesome and I'm super excited to try it. Thanks so much for watching The Real McNeils. We'll see you guys in the next vlog.